Welcome to Spotlight on Team Singapore. We're going to kick off this episode with your favourite Team Singapore Athlete of the Month. We're going to have a look at our five nominees for this month, starting off with Amita Berbier Duncan. She won the Asian Junior Cadet Championships in Amman, Jordan, uh, and rose to become world number one rank for the Junior Foil. She's been very prominent, of course, over the last two years. Also a medalist at the SEA Games in 2017 and currently, of course, studying in the US at uh, Notre Dame. Uh, but this is some, someone, uh, an up-and-coming rising star in Singapore fencing to look out for. Uh, next up, we have Arian Tay, a bowler who won the singles gold medal at the World Junior Bowling Championships held in Paris, France. Arian, of course, was also part of the team that won Team Bronze. And listen, this person is only 14 years old. How amazing is that? Well, I don't know what I was achieving when I was 14 years of age. Someone else to look forward to and someone who is another nominee for Athlete of the Month is Maximilian Ang. This swimmer set a new national record for the men's 200 meter breaststroke. And he is also an athlete to watch out for for the future. And of course, Mark Brian Lewis, the hurdler. He is the first Singapore gold medalist at the Asian Youth Athletics Championships for the 400 meter hurdles. So another name that is making waves in the national sporting scene. It's right, Duncan. And of course, we have our final nominee for uh, this month is none other than another Team Singapore swimmer, Kwa Ting Wen. Um, two national records in the 100 meter freestyle and 50 meter freestyle and the first Singapore woman to go under 55 seconds for the 100 meter freestyle. And those were your five nominees for Team Singapore Athlete of the Month. We need your help here. Give a like beside each of the athletes' names in the comment section and the athlete with the most number of likes beside their name will be the winners of this poll. When we come back, we're going to have a look at some of the achievements of Team Singapore in the month of March. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good enough? that you can never be good enough. It's been a big, big month for Team Singapore where winning medals and breaking records is concerned and we're going to have a quick look now at just some of those. So Duncan, you were at the Singapore Squash Open recently, I understand. Yes, and I saw Yan and Samuel Kang continue their dominance in the Singapore Squash Open. They were the champions in the this, in this men's and women's singles category in 2018 and continued the dominance in 2019. Samuel Kang is in a league of his own in terms of the men's game but for Wai Yan, there is Sneha as well involved in that category and two years in a row that she got the better of Sneha. And in football, I understand as well that under our new coach Nazri Nasir in the recent Air Marine Cup, uh, Singapore Lions did well. did well. They did well. Uh, Nasri Nasir, interim head coach for the Singapore national team until a permanent head coach is appointed but it was a tournament where no one really had much expectations on Singapore's progress. So this one not with too much expectations from the fans and even from themselves but they did really really well against Malaysia, their arch rivals. They won that game and then went on to the final against a much higher seeded team in Oman. Young athletes coming through the ranks for Team Singapore. And how about this? Not everyone knows that Singapore has a nice hockey team, but that's exactly what we have because recently our men's team got bronze in the IIHF Challenge Cup of Asia. There have just been too many achievements to list in one episode of Spot On, but we are not forgetting the achievements of the other athletes of Singapore. And here is a list of their achievements for the month of March. 